when I saw this shirt, I just immediately saw a Christmas stocking in my head. I don't know why. I do love the plaids. So I went ahead and um, cut a couple of pieces off. As you can see, I didn't even process this one. It still shows the buttons. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut out a stocking. And then I also have some quilt batting. I want to quilt it as well. So once I get everything cut out, I'll see you at the sewing machine. other shirts that were really thin and had almost a slick slippery feel to them that I didn't think would do good with quilts but I did use them for um, I'm going to use them for the lining in these stockings so there's a couple of those but but I managed to get two of these large stockings cut out of one shirt and then I have a little leftover so what I thought I would do, because I'm trying to make three of anything I do um, for the family members. So I think at the end, when I finish the next two quilt tops, I'll take all of my scraps and do a patchwork of um, all of the material and do another stocking that way maybe. But for now, I sewed up a couple of little things to use as the hangers. And I've got this ready. And on this one, I did want to point out that I did put some interfacing on it. Uh, because I didn't want it crawling around a lot when I was trying to quilt it. So this gave me a little bit of stability. And of course the lining won't be quilted, so I didn't worry about that part. Um, so I'm going to go ahead first and try to get some quilting done on uh, the front and the back. So I'll put the rest of this aside. I did add just a few clips just to kind of help me uh, with the shifting that that is going to want to do naturally uh, while we quilt it. sure how much of the sewing machine that you can see but it is different <laughs> my brother finally bit the dust so I am using my Singer quantum stylus and I was able to get all of the quilting done on the front and the back and I attached the little loop there that will be the hanger so now I'm going to take the lining pieces and I'm going to attach them to uh, the top of each one of these
So now that we have stitched all the way around, we've left just a small spot open where we can turn the stocking. Once I get that pulled through, I'll go ahead and pull the lining through as well. I'm just going to tuck my hand in and smooth out the stocking. Check all the seams, make sure everything was caught. So now we'll just close up the lining and we'll be able to tuck the lining right down inside. Now you don't have to do this step, but I went ahead and uh, clipped everything because I want to do a top stitch there so that everything lays nice and flat and the lining doesn't try to work its way out. Okay, so these make really nice large stockings. Now, um, if they would have had a white shirt, uh, I probably would have put a white band around the top, but I was trying not to use any other fabric other than the shirt fabric. So, uh, but I still think it looks good, especially in this plaid flannel. So anyway, I won't make you watch me make the second one. I uh, hope you guys have a great week, and uh, I'll see you back here next week.